all right guys captain joey here and i'm just going to show you how to uh, make a 2d silhouette yeah just something like this when whereby a sprite goes behind an object and it has this kind of um silhouette silhouette feature to it so it can be seen behind like a silhouette version of it can be seen behind so we're going to show how to make this without um any code in unity all right let's get to it so um this is going to be a short video and um, it's very simple to get working um what i've just done is just a trick it's kind of like a trick and a very hacky way of getting it and it actually seems to produce a nice result a very efficient one so um this is db so what i've just done is i've just um gone ahead to um duplicate the graphics um because um just look, looking at this um, part now so this is the graphics um part of um what makes up db the subject here um and um, this is everything every sprite um every child sprite that makes it up and i've just duplicated um it right here and what i've just done is that now this is the part we want to um be shown behind now you know um now this part now is what we want to be shown behind now what i'm what i've just what i've just done to that is that i've just um increased increased the um the other in layer to be to be um above whatever is going to be obstructing it you understand so it's just appear um i'm in front of it and and i've gone ahead to make that um, visible inside the mark so this obstructing object now is is going to be a mask it's going to be a mask it's going to be having the sprite marks um components and um this is it here just to show you that you know we're going to be having the sprite um uh, marks um component with um, the sprite being itself the sprite shape being itself then every object you know is going to be obstructing it's going to be having that then you for your um for your object you want to be um shown behind such you create a duplicate um, of that you create a duplicate of the object itself like the sprite object then you now then you um as i've done here then you set the other layer to be above this and make it visible inside that marks that what that means is it's only when the object is within this marks that mask that it would be shown and that's basically everything I'm doing. That is basically everything I'm doing. And let's just play. All right. So that is what gives these very awesome effects. Even I've added it to those. I've made it to the spiders too. You can see that, and you can choose to um, tint whatever color you want those duplicated sprites graphics to be. All right. All right, thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video All right thank you very much and god bless